Hey y'all, hope everybody's having a great week. Thank you so much for tuning back into Chicanic. First off, I have to give a huge thanks to everybody that popped in to my very first live stream on Sunday. We had almost 2,000 people pop in and that is amazing. I mean, I couldn't ask for much more. Hopefully I helped some of y'all out and y'all were funny. Y'all had, I had a great time. I definitely plan on doing it again. I don't know if I want to do it every Sunday, but at least every couple weeks, I think we can pop on along with the tutorial videos that I'm going to be putting out once, twice every week. So as I've said before in my previous videos, we get in over 2,000 pieces of equipment every single year at the lawnmower shop. And a lot of those are chainsaws. This time of year, I start seeing a ton of them and blowers because we're fixing to go into winter, fall season, and those are the pieces of equipment that people are realizing they need to be fixed. So this is your reminder, if you have not gone out to the shed yet and checked your chainsaw to see if it's running since last year, go out and do it. So I've gotten in a lot of chainsaws this week, but I thought that this one might be interesting to make a video on because it's about Steel's M-Tronic system. Now about 10 years ago, Steel came out with what they call the M-Tronic system and it's supposed to make everything easier. And it might. I have to admit, I do not own a chainsaw that is M-Tronic that I've been running for years that I know the ins, the outs, the quirks and, and all about. All I do is see the problems when other customers have them, and I don't necessarily know how they've been running their chainsaw. I do know that they are expensive because most of the time when I do see one of them come into the shop, it's usually a commercial customer. And so um, I know that they've, they've probably been running them pretty hard. Now, along with that though, a lot of times commercial customers, they know how to run their chainsaw. They know how to start it correctly on a cold start, a warm start. They know that if it's sounding different, that they need to have a carburetor adjustment or, or do something about it. And a lot of times they know how to adjust their own carburetor if it does have a high and low adjustment. So what they did with the M-Tronic carburetor, it's, it's the ignition module and the carburetor have a um, computerized little digital system that actually regulates the fuel for you. So it uh, is supposedly going to make it easier to start regulating the gas depending on if it's cold or hot. It's supposed to know while it's running, if it's got a dirty air filter, does it need to um, compensate for that? So to be honest, I don't know if when they are running good, if they run good for a very long time and are only, you know, neglected and then I have to see them. Um, on the same note though, I want to have a chainsaw that I'm able to adjust. I want to know that, you know, if I need that little bit extra oomph of gas, I can get it whenever I want to. So first things first though, warranty. Can you have your carburetor adjusted under warranty? Now, I made a video a while back about um, steel oil and how it affects machines because of the way you run it. And I told you that steel will void part of your warranty if you do not use their oil, which is true. You can read their steel war warranty and that's what it says. And in fact, that's what Echo does too. I mean, any of them, if you have some mystery oil in there and your unit's burned up, um, it could definitely be the whatever brand of oil. I've seen units burn up from using marine oil, which is for water-cooled engines instead of air-cooled engines. and that is not under warranty. Now the tricky thing about steel is they're pretty genius when it comes to marketing. Now they say that they double your warranty whenever you buy their oil. The fact is, is Echo and Husqvarna, they both offer a five-year homeowner warranty for any manufacturer defect, which to be honest, I'm an Echo dealer and it just, you don't see that many manufacturer defects. So it's not something that you really even have to worry about. Now, steel, they offer one, two years, and then they will double your warranty if you buy their oil. So people feel like they're getting something extra if they buy the oil, when actually they offer a four-year warranty, but they void two of it if you do not purchase their oil. Think about it that way. They're actually punishing you instead of helping you. So steel only offers a one year warranty for homeowners on the chainsaws and a three month warranty for commercial users, which that's not very much time to break in a unit and see if you're going to need some kind of carburetor adjustment. 
So the Mtronic supposedly makes it to where you never have to have a carburetor adjustment. It just always works. It's supposed to be the cure-all for all fuel-related issues. For this demonstration, we have a steel MS261C chainsaw with the Mtronic ignition, and we have a scrunch so we can take the spark plug out and a flathead so we can remove the top cover. Now, when the customer brought this in, they brought it in for a service sharpen, and they said it was very hard to start. Now, I have had no issues getting it to start, even though it's a steel, it's going to take five, six pulls to get it there. It's started for me on a cold start every single time. I'm assuming that after, you know, a day's work and it's hot, it's not wanting to start. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the plug. This does have a new plug in it. I'm going to tell you, you know, why it has an issue right now. And uh, I'm going to tell you how we're going to try to fix it. When removing the spark plug boot, make sure to twist before you actually pull it off because you can pull this boot off. And I did make a video on how to replace the boot back on your uh, ignition module wire because so many people don't know how to do it and they destroy their ignition module wire. So make sure to twist, twist until it pulls off. Now this one, it's got this little uh, rubber ring inside here and it makes it a little bit more difficult to actually get your tool in there, but if you press hard enough, you can get it in. So, I put this plug in there when I was servicing it and checking running, and I didn't touch it after that because I knew I wanted to make this video. But if you can see this plug, and this is my mix in it, so I know that it's mixed correctly. And even the gas that was in there, it was, it was mixed good, but I just wanted to knock that out and make sure that wasn't an issue. But this plug, I, I want you to be able to see, it is burning very hot. It is very white. I don't know if you can see that good. I wanted to focus in for you, but it's, it's almost pure white. So we know that it's not getting enough gas. And I'm not a steel dealer. I don't have a um, whatever thousand dollar, you know, tool to plug up to this and a computer program to program what it needs. So I am going to um, attempt the only thing that I know how to do, and that is to reset the Mtronic on here. All right, so you're in the woods. Your chainsaw is not running right, not idling right, not revving up correctly. Something is noticeably wrong. And you can't adjust it because there's no high and low adjustments on it. You can't take it to the shop real quick. You need to cut this wood right now. You have one last ditch effort to see if you can get the fuel delivery system to work again. And this is how you do it. You're going to release the chain brake, start the chainsaw up and let it idle for 90 seconds and turn it off. And hopefully everything just works itself out. So let's see if it works. I'm going to put it all the way down at the arrow for the cold or warm start. You're going to disengage the chain brake and start it. Now there is a decompression trigger on these units. I do not use it, but you might want to. the chain just kept spinning that's because it's not getting the gas it needs so uh, that is a definite you know telltale sign that the fuel delivery system in this thing is not working right now so let's give it a go and let it idle for 90 seconds Well, the chain did stop moving, which that might have made it work. So uh, we're going to start it up, rev it up a little bit. 
Then we're going to pull the plug and see if the fuel delivery system did work and make sure the plug's not burning up anymore. Let's see if it worked. Okay, we're back over to the bench now. I'm going to take the plug out and see if resetting it actually worked. Remember, twist your plug boot off. Plug will be hot, so make sure to wear something that will not let it burn you. Well, I have to say that uh, it's still pretty white. So what does that tell us? Uh, the little reset didn't work. Well, that's it. That's all I can do, and it very much discourages me that I cannot fix it when all I need to do is give it that little bit of high and uh, send it on its way, but I, I, I can't do that because there are no adjustments on this carburetor. I have to tell my customer, my very good commercial customer, that they have to go to the steel dealer because it's out of warranty and pay whatever the charge is. So are you a steel dealer? Are you a mechanic for steel? Let us know. How much does that cost? If you would, leave a comment below. Well, thanks again for tuning into Chicanic. Hopefully this video saved you time, money, and frustration. No, it didn't. It probably made you more frustrated and going to make you have to spend more money. I'm sorry about that. I wish there was something I could do, but there's not. So if you haven't found us yet on Facebook, find us at facebook.com slash Chicanic. And we just started our Instagram at instagram.com slash Chicanic. So find us there. That's the real Chicanic. Uh, you'll see a lot of stuff that you're not going to see here on YouTube, so follow us there. Um, thanks, and have a great day.